Welcome everyone to another video. Lovely to have you along. My name is Warren Bennett. We've got Trev down on the floor and this one's all about making perfect contact with that ball every time. Because what you want to do, you want to get this club brushing the grass where the ball is. And what can we do to guarantee that every time? If you lose structure of this left arm, so which I, which I see a lot of people bending their left arm through impact, keeping the structure of this left arm throughout the whole swing until you get to about halfway through your follow through. So let me show you a few. If I'm gonna keep and not have any flex in this left arm at all, what is gonna create length? Because if I don't have any wrist angle, I'm not gonna create length of the club. So you can see where the club head is, is here, it's not long enough. This left arm never to break down. And if you keep that structure the same, you're gonna really benefit from brushing the grass where the ball is. You just lose this ball. I would always start slow. We say it in every single video, start nice and smooth and slow. Back swing, we're keeping the structure the same. Now, I'm keeping this structure the same, my left arm. What is gonna create length in the swing? Hinging. So this is one really important factor in the back swing. If you create hinge in your wrists, you can keep structure of your left arm. If you don't have any hinge at all, you're gonna to have to create length by lifting, and that's when you're in real trouble. So keeping structure of your left arm, keeping your left arm straight, is gonna be able, you're gonna be now, you're gonna to have to now introduce some hinge to your swing to create the length. So it's a great barometer about how well you're actually hinging. You're gonna hinge the club up with your wrists only, but keeping the left arm straight. We haven't got an elbow joint, so we're gonna keep our left arm as straight as possible. So remember, we're not keeping both arms straight on the way back, we're allowing our right arm to, to um, fold nicely, but we're keeping our left arm nice and straight. So what that's gonna do, that's gonna create what's called width. So that's another byproduct of keeping this left arm nice and structured. Having this left arm nice and straight and keeping it nice and straight throughout the backswing, the effect of that is width. And what we say a lot in the academy is finding that one thing that can cure a lot of things without you thinking about it. And width is one main issue of the backswing because if we can have some width, then that allows our right arm and our hands to be in the right position and our arms it obviously makes the downswing much easier to execute. So what we're we gonna start, we're gonna start and just do some mini swings here. So it's kind of waist height, to waist height through the ball. Introduce a bit of hinge with your wrists on the back swing. Okay, so what we're gonna do, nice little hinge, keep the left arm straight, and then we're gonna keep it straight on the back follow through as well. It's gonna feel, if you're used to bending, this is gonna feel really, really weird. But remember, we're just keeping, and we're allowing this club just to brush because it can now, because you're starting here with your arms in this position and when you're bringing the club down with your arms in the same position again. If you bend, you're gonna to have to do some compensation. I'm making perfect contact every time, keeping that left arm nice and straight. So if, if my arm, if my left arm is nice and straight, I'm gonna to have to introduce some hinge to create some speed. So the left arm is gonna guarantee strike. And there's two areas of strike, club face and ground. This exercise is all about getting this club face to hit the ground where we want it every time. And obviously that's where the golf ball is. Nice and straight, nice and straight. I'll put a couple of slow-mos on while I'm doing this, keeping it nice and straight throughout. Remember, you don't have an elbow joint no elbow joint whatsoever. You're keeping, imagine that you've got this thing locked in, locked in, and then from here, then you can start bending it up. Right, so drill number one is just left arm parallel, left arm parallel. Little bit of hinge, nice light grip, nothing too quick. You can see every single shot here is perfect strike because I'm not trying to strike it perfect, I'm allowing this club just to brush the ground by keeping the structure. So that's drill number one, left arm parallel, left arm parallel. So drill number two would be the same backswing, so we're not gonna go full backswing at the moment. 
keeping it nice and short, allowing to swing down, stop, and then just carry on from there. So introducing a little bit more of a fold where we need it on the follow through. Left arm, left arm, stop for a bit, then fold up. We're not rushing it. Internals are kind of hip height to hip height, either side of the ball. If you get those right, everyone, you're gonna have more consistency. It's not a distance exercise. So one other slight element we can introduce to the backswing is we're gonna introduce some coil. What you don't wanna do is just not move. We're gonna now twist. Head nice and still. Imagine I've got an arrow out of my belly button. It's gonna point behind me, not directly, but it's gonna point over my right shoe. So I'm twisting, keeping my head still, but keeping my left arm as straight as possible. That's giving me lovely width, as you can see from the behind view. What that's doing is allowing my right arm just to fold nicely in front of my body. That's giving me the chance to drop my hands in front on the downswing and keeping this structure and allowing this club to swing and make contact with that ball. I'm not trying to control and get this club onto the ball. I'm trusting that the ball's just gonna get in the way. I'm gonna make the best move I can and hope for the best and hopefully my club will get in the way and the ball will get in the way. Introduced a little bit of a longer backswing. So I'm gonna twist and keep the structure of this left arm and allow the right to fold nice and soft but keep it all the way through the swing. And allow the follow through just to go a little bit. The more you ramp it up and the more speed you introduce to the swing, you know, the less awareness we have. That's why I always introduce and always encourage you to take it nice and smooth. If you're really finding it difficult, get back into the small little drill one swings. But the main, remember the main element, not so much direction, the main element is strike here. Getting that strike is going to be fantastic for your fairway woods, but keeping this left arm as straight as possible for as long as possible. So like I said at the very start, doing this one thing can solve a few things. And one, one other thing it can solve is extension. It allows this club to swing down the line. If you break this left arm down, it's going to pull you round you're probably going to have to hold on and you probably slice it. So keeping this left arm nice and straight solves path. You can see from the behind view, the more I keep my left arm straight, the more the club goes down the line. The more I um, collapse it into my body and bend it, you can see now the club goes left. And if the club is going away from where the target is, there's going to be have to some sort of compensation to get that ball back to the target. So keeping this structure the same gives you much better chance to have a more neutral path. Nice and straight, small backswing, small follow through. Nice and smooth, keeping the left arm nice and straight. If it folds slightly on the follow through, it's not the end of the world, but you're just really trying to keep that structure the same. If you're finding it hard, make it even smaller. If you're finding that even harder, just brush the grass. I'm not trying to brush that grass, I'm just keeping everything nice and smooth, but I'm keeping my left arm nice and straight. So what I've got at the start, I've got an impact and beyond. Beautiful. Break your left arm and collapse it. And I'm a professional golfer and I've just hit a ball 10 yards. Very inconsistent. So drill one is left arm parallel, left arm parallel. Not a distance exercise. Drill number two, left arm parallel, left arm parallel, and then bend. And then we're gonna introduce a bit more of a backswing, a bit longer, but we're keeping the left arm straight all the way through, all the way through, all the way through. Really slow it down. Slowing it down gives you the awareness time, everyone. So you're not rushing. Keep it the same, keep it the same, especially on the follow through, because that's what you're working on. The impact and beyond keeping this left arm, there's no elbow joint. You do not have an elbow joint. Try and hit it over Trev. Being able to take this onto the golf course without too much thought is the reason why we do these exercises, because the more you do these little exercises, the more you can go out on the golf course and not think about them, because what you don't want to go, and go 
out on the course with is to swing my numbers. You want to try and keep this as natural as possible. That's why we do these little exercises on the range at home. So you can do this in the garden. You can clip the tops of the daisies, so getting this club clipping the ground. So when we go on the golf course, you can kind of take away the feeling of trying to do it too perfectly. And hopefully a percentage of what you've worked on is able to bleed into your golf swing. And after a period of time, if you keep that consistency and continuity of your practice, it brings you a lot of confidence because if you're hitting shots and you're fatting and thinning them, that's a real confidence breaker. This is the opposite. I'd love you to have you along. And if you'd like any more videos like this, please subscribe. Hit that bell icon, I think, isn't it? And then that will that'll notify you with any of our latest videos. So until the next time from myself and Trev, I'll see you then. Cheerio.